Our story begins not in the 20th century but far earlier. In the early 19th century, a man named Charles Babbage designed what we now consider the first computer. His analytical engine, though never fully realized during his lifetime, laid the groundwork for the computers we know today. Fast forward to the mid-20th century, and we find ourselves in the era of the first programmable computers. The ENIAC, or Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, brought to life in 1946, is a prime example. Despite its mammoth size, this machine was a marvel of its time, capable of solving complex numerical problems. The 1950s gave birth to the era of transistors, marking the end of the vacuum tube. This pivotal innovation led to the creation of smaller, more reliable, and less energy-consuming computers. The IBM 7090, a transistor-based computer, is a standout model from this period. Now, let's move into the 1960s and 70s, where the integrated circuit, or the microchip, revolutionized the computer world once again. This period brought about the advent of personal computers, such as the Altair 8800 and the Apple I. The 90s saw the rise of the World Wide Web, transforming computers from standalone machines to interconnected devices. This period also marked the birth of user-friendly operating systems, like Microsoft Windows and Mac OS, making computers accessible to the masses. Fast forward to the present day, and we see computers everywhere in many forms, from laptops to smartphones, from smartwatches to tablets. They have become an integral part of our daily lives, influencing every aspect from communication to entertainment, from education to healthcare. To summarize, the journey of computers from Charles Babbage's analytical engine to today's modern devices has been a remarkable one, marked by continuous innovation and evolution. The development of transistors, microchips, and the internet have been key turning points in this journey. As we look to the future, one thing remains certain, the story of computers is far from over. With advancements in areas like quantum computing and artificial intelligence, the next chapter promises to be even more exciting. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of computers. Remember, every swipe, every click, every tap is a testament to centuries of innovation. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep marveling at the world of technology. Ever pondered how the device you're using to watch this video came into existence? The history of computers is a riveting journey of innovation and discovery. Let's embark on this journey together. From the 19th century to the present day, the story of computers begins in the 19th century with the groundbreaking work of Charles Babbage. Babbage, often considered the father of computers, designed the analytical engine, a mechanical general purpose computing device. This remarkable invention, although never fully realized during Babbage's lifetime, laid the groundwork for the design of modern computers. As we journey into the early 20th century, we encounter the beginnings of what we can recognize as a computer today. The dawn of the four generations of computer development saw machines initially used for arithmetic calculations gradually evolve to serve various non-mathematical functions. The turning point in the history of computers came in 1945 with the introduction of the von Neumann architecture. This design, a brainchild of mathematician and physicist John von Neumann, revolutionized computer design by storing program instructions in the computer's memory. In the early 1940s, the world saw the birth of Konrad Zuse's Z3, the Colossus code-breaking computer, and the ENIAC or Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. These machines set the stage for the first commercial computer, the UNIVAC-1, which hit the market in 1951. The UNIVAC, I was a giant leap forward, built on the principles of von Neumann's architecture. As we delve into the mid-20th century, we find the first generation of computers that used vacuum tubes and specific task-oriented operation instructions. These were soon replaced by transistors in 1948, marking the beginning of the second generation of computers. This era was characterized by the use of transistors and magnetic core memory, which led to smaller, faster, and more reliable machines like the IBM 1401. The second generation also saw the rise of programming languages like COBOL and FORTRAN. These languages opened up new career paths in computer science and paved the way for the software revolution we see today. The late 20th century heralded the development of integrated circuits by Jack Kilby in 1958. This advancement brought about the third generation of computers, 
characterized by even smaller, more powerful, and versatile machines. To summarize, the history of computers is a tale of relentless innovation, starting with Babbage's analytical engine in the 19th century. The introduction of the von Neumann architecture, the development of transistors, and the creation of integrated circuits have each played a crucial role in shaping the computers we know and rely on today. The evolution of programming languages has also been instrumental in driving the digital revolution. As we look to the future, we can only speculate what the next chapter in this fascinating story will be. However, one thing is clear, the journey of the computer is far from over. In the blink of an eye, the world transitioned from ink and paper to pixels and bits. Today, we'll journey through the fascinating evolution of the computer era. Buckle up, it's going to be quite a ride. It all started in the early 20th century when inventors were tinkering with mechanical devices and electrical circuits. The first glimmer of the computer era began with a machine called the analytical engine. Conceived by Charles Babbage in the 1830s, this machine, though never fully realized, laid the groundwork for future developments. Fast forward to the 1930s, the world saw the birth of the first electromechanical computer, the Z1, created by Konrad Zuss. This machine used binary code and could carry out simple calculations, but the real game changer was yet to come. Enter the 1940s, the era of the first fully electronic programmable computer, the ENIAC. Short for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, this machine used vacuum tubes instead of mechanical switches. Its invention marked a major milestone in the computer era, transforming the way data was processed. The 1950s brought the advent of the transistor a device that revolutionized the computer industry. Smaller and more efficient than vacuum tubes, transistors led to the development of smaller, faster, and cheaper computers. This was the era of the first commercially available computer, the UNIVAC, which signaled the dawn of the computer revolution. As the 1960s rolled in, the integrated circuit, or microchip, took center stage. This tiny device packed thousands of transistors into a small space, leading to the birth of the mini-computer. The microchip was a precursor to the microprocessor, which would take the world by storm in the 1970s. The microprocessor, the brain of the modern computer, brought computing power to the masses. This was the era of the personal computer, a machine that would transform not just industries, but also our daily lives. From the Apple II to the IBM PC, personal computers reshaped the landscape of technology. The 1980s and 1990s witnessed the rise of the Internet and the World Wide Web, connecting computers across the globe. This was also the era of graphical user interfaces, making computers more user-friendly and accessible to the general public. Fast forward to the 21st century. Today, computers are ubiquitous, from smartphones to sophisticated supercomputers. They're integral to countless aspects of modern life, from communication and entertainment to science and medicine. But what does the future hold? The rise of quantum computing promises to take processing power to new heights. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are set to redefine the boundaries of what computers can do. And as computers become ever more integrated into our lives, issues of privacy and security will become increasingly important. The computer era has been a journey of relentless innovation and discovery, a testament to human ingenuity. And if history is any guide, the future promises to be just as exciting. So, as we stand on the cusp of the next chapter in the computer era, one thing is certain, the best is yet to come.